Matt Lamb with the Louisville Zoo, and I'm here with Blair with Idlewild Butterfly Farm. So Blair, so we've talked about a lot in our series here so far. So um, the importance of why people maybe want to consider growing a pollinator habitat at home. Um, what's led us to this point where what's caused the decline of the monarch butterfly? Well, there are a few things that are causing the decline of the monarch butterfly. One is the loss of habitat. Right. Uh, another is the misuse and overuse of chemical insecticides and herbicides. And another is climate change. Wow, okay, so that's a lot. That's so, a lot. Um, so like, so an easy one, so we know that they need milkweed, so people are spraying to get rid of milkweed. Yes. And that's, they, they require that's the only host plant. Yes, and so this is what has led to the Monarch Waste Station movement. I mean, it is, right. you're starting to see lots of folks talking about putting Monarch Waste Stations up, pollinator patches. Sure. And that's providing not just host plants for the monarchs and other butterflies, but also nectar plants for them to refuel. Okay, and so, uh, what are some of the like the declines of the with the triggers like with the milkweed? Okay, so there's there's several things that uh, trigger the uh, great monarch migration phenomenon. Okay. One is the degradation of the milkweed. Of so when you mean milkweed. It just it's dying, dying back, back for the, the season, okay. uh, temperature, so okay. the cooling temperature, and then also the shortening of daylight. Daylight. So those are all signals that are cues yes. for them to leave yes. and to migrate. But what's happening? Uh, as we go further into climate change, is we're staying longer, we're staying warmer longer. And so okay. what happens is that's, that's keeping the monarchs from migrating. So when they oh, finally wow. make the migration, you know, there is the chance they could get hit with a, a, cold, a cold front um, that can greatly impact them. Right, and so then they go to Mexico where it's cooler. Yes. But this also can affect them down there too. It can affect them too, because if it's starting to warm up there too soon, that's gonna push them to go back north. Right, okay, cool, awesome, thanks Blair. You're welcome.